Welcome back to the brief at 30. You're here with me, Sandro Satajit. In the local news now, SLPP MP Vimalavira Disanayaka says the local government election will be of no use for the people. Why do they ask for an election? It was something that was postponed for a year. Why can't they ask for the election that was postponed for five years? Don't provincial councils need democracy? They killed everyone who spoke for the 13th Amendment. Now no one speaks about the 13th Amendment. The JVP cannot form a government simply because of a local government election. Can the country develop their minor talks? like building culverts, delivering water from bouses and so on. Can they reduce taxes? Can they increase wages? Can they provide relief? On news overseas now, former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan was granted protective bail by a court in the eastern city of Lahore. The former Prime Minister was granted bail, providing him respite from arrest for two weeks in a case that involves charges under the country's anti-terrorism laws. Khan has had a number of cases registered against him since a parliamentary vote ousted him from power last year. The cases range from gathering illegal funds for his political party to inciting violence against state officials. In sports news now, Australia's Josh Hazelwood will fly home after being ruled out of the final two tests of the Madagascar series. Australia quick Josh Hazelwood will fly home after being ruled out of the final two tests of the Border Gavaskar series. But doubts remain about David Warner's fitness for the remaining matches as Australia mull further changes to the squad following their loss in Delhi. Hazelwood was unavailable for the two tests due to Achilles tendonitis. Warner was substituted out of the Delhi test with concussion but he also suffered a hairline fracture in his left elbow from separate blows while facing India's Mohammed Siraj. That's all the news for now. Await the brief at 30 throughout the evening for more news in brief.